guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i thought i'd pick up the camera today and vlog we are off for a very exciting night away tom myself and barney and we are going to go for just a very chilled relaxed night away in the peak district so i thought it could be a nice wholesome vlog we're going to a place called buxton i've never been before and i actually got invited by buxton crescent hotel to go and stop the night so it's not too far from us if i'm being completely honest with you it's only about it's less than an hour to get there so ordinarily um we'd probably probably just go for the day but the fact that we had the opportunity to stop over and spend the night i thought what a lovely lovely excuse to go and do so and it is a spa hotel as well so myself and tom have got treatments booked tonight it's a friday so we're gonna head over a bit later on in the afternoon i think check-in is from two or three i'll have to check that but I think what we're going to do is Tom's got a meeting. He'll be back home by about one. So then we're just going to pack up and go. We're going to set off, have a mooch around Buxton for a couple of hours and then head to the hotel, check in, spend some time in the spa, have our treatments and then just have a lovely like room service in the hotel room with Barney there as well. And then tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and make the most of the start of the saturday morning whilst it's dry today and tomorrow as well um so we're gonna go for a nice walk i think there's one called mam tour which is quite a hike so we're gonna take all of our walking gear and yeah get up and do that bright and early i think because i have been advised it gets busy on the weekends and we like to get up and go at the weekends so it is something we always do and it's actually something i really enjoy doing is not having an alarm but just getting up when we wake up getting up and going and just having the first thing of the day be fresh air and a walk um so i'm no doubt i think what we'll do is have that hike tomorrow morning and then get home for a nice chilled Saturday, um, resting, maybe takeaway back at home. And just, we still have Sunday then. First thing is to pack. Um, just remembered swimming costume. Do not forget swimming costume. <laughs> right, with it being sunny but cold, I don't need to take loads with me, especially as it's just gonna be very, very much walking and chilling. I think I'm gonna take my joggers to kind of just chill out in, in the hotel room. And also I've got pajamas and even taking some cozy slippers tops. But yeah, it's cold. And this morning it felt cold on a dog walk and Mam tour is quite high up, so I'm imagining it's gonna get breezy. When it's breezy and cold, it's very, very chilly. So I've got my walking boots, walking like waterproof coat downstairs. So for base, I'll just wear leggings. Let's get a fresh pair of leggings. I'll take my Lululemon leggings. I've got my pajamas. So I just need maybe couple of t-shirts and a couple of jumpers. Don't even think I'm gonna wear like a nice outfit because I suppose if I'm gonna wear a nice outfit, I could wear that this afternoon. But we're not really, we're just literally strolling in the countryside. So it's very, very casual. Yeah, I'll take that and wear that today with like just a t-shirt and that should be warm enough. I'm gonna wear an Abercrombie oversized. These are that comfy that I think I might take like i might wear this for my walk tomorrow as well as a bit of a base layer i have that same t-shirt in white so i think i'll wear the white one still got the late one not worn this one yet i think i'll wear the white one today toiletries i've got my makeup bag here um i'll just take the full lot these makeup bags are great by the way the flat lay company ones we are pretty full to the brim but I'll just take take all my makeup and then uh, I think that's it. I just go and get my swimming stuff so I don't forget it. 
I know what I'm like. I feel like it's the one thing that I'll end up forgetting. Can you also see a little sneak peek here of what the uh, outdoor kitchen's looking like? Can you see down there? They've basically built the structure now and popped that waterproof protector over the top because there's the holes that they've made. There's one there and there's another one over here that's still under cover for the skylights to go in. So we're going to basically have a flat roof. I think what we're going to be doing is because obviously from this room you can see the roof and even when you're stood on the patio you can kind of see the roof. We're going to have or try and see if we can have a green roof. Uh, which I think I've mentioned before actually. So yeah, so it'll be nice wild kind of maybe flowers or grass or whatever it is that needs to be, that doesn't need to be looked after. Just self-contained, no maintenance, um, little green roof on there. Um, and then the walls will be rendered. We're trying to push for a finish this like within the next couple of days so that next week they can render it. Essentially we need them to be able to render it sooner rather than later because when the uh oh we'll take barney's ikea dog because he can't sleep without this little guy um yeah before without the render no what am i saying before it gets into the thick of winter we need it to be rendered because wet cold windy weather is not a good mix with render so for the render to dry and not crack and you know be the best finish it can be it needs to be done with a bit of sun so that's why we're trying to push for next week because next week looks okay i mean it's, it's getting cold now but it's sunny that's the main thing so that it can dry properly i feel like he knows we're going away somewhere but you're coming with us are we going on holiday or are you who's that at the front door postman's here one second anyway as i was saying we've got swimwear we need to get swimwear i think i'm going to take my hunza g swimsuit walking socks i'll take a couple of pairs some trainer socks because i'm going to wear some trainers underwear you don't need to see and that's us done so i'll probably catch you guys again you know you're in focus when we're on the road Maybe I'm not the one that you've been dreaming of But dirt underneath my fingernails Some worn out shoes I've arrived and look at this guys Sun is shining We've got an hour or so till the room is ready um, So we're just going to leave the car here and check out Buxton. Tom's just on a, on a work call. It is a Friday still, so you know, it's still a work day. I never thought that I would fall for someone like you. An uptown girl without a single Barney, it's just a card key. No, a key for the room. We've made it to our room. I thought I would show you before we mess it up. And guys, look what's on the TV. <laughs> they knew Mr. Barney was come, the royal guest himself. Let's take your lead off. That's a proper one, Barney, with a proper head. Yeah, that's a real golden retriever. <laughs> we see he's got a little pea head. Little pea head. Oh, this is lovely. I love the artwork. That was like the artwork that I saw in that little shop on the card that I said was really nice. 
could do with I was saying they could do with that on a, a bauble for Christmas oh and look you've got a little bed set up oh wow we've got in here a dog welcome pack a ball some poo bags some dog you need some water don't you let's go get you some water <laughs> I was just thinking when we're going to the spa obviously he's been walked so he's ready for a snooze I was thinking what would we do maybe pop that on the door so people oh please don't disturb but they've actually got a special one just for your pets special petting room that's you Barney I absolutely love the fact that they've <laughs> put a golden on TV that is that AI yeah yeah Someone's made himself at home. How's the bed? Comfy. <laughs> and look, we can get your bed set up, Barney. Get your blanket out. Oh my goodness. Like a little towel blanket. Oh, you're going to go in your bed. You go in your bed, lie down. Oh, good boy. Is that nice? Should we see what's in here? Got some treats. That's what you could smell, isn't it? How about we keep you one of those when we go to the spa? Yeah? We'll give you one now and one when we go to the spa. You enjoy that. It's a pretty building, isn't it? Really pretty. Welcome to the Buxton Crescent. We hope you have a fantastic stay. Best wishes, the team at Buxton Crescent. Then we also have, we actually have a spa bag with some of their products, a little lip balm. What else have we got in here? Mineral bath, oh, salts I think. A anti-aging day cream with UV protection. And then we also have these little packs. This top one has a serum, cream and mask in. And then this one is a serum and a cream. Well, he's munching away on his dinner and I feel like we could head to the spa. I didn't wash my hair on purpose because I thought, if we have a massage, sometimes they put oils in your hair, don't they? Seven. having a quick look at the menu I think we're gonna go for room service this evening what a luxury having room service and having food in bed a fresh out of the shower I need to put some moisturizer on it feels a bit dry in my skin what did you have a back massage yeah and then I had a Indian head massage which I've never had before would definitely get again it was like basically 25 minutes of being at the hair salon when they're giving you that massage. Plus with the added, they do your neck and shoulders. It was lovely. Um, so yeah, we've just ordered room service. I've just literally jumped out the shower. Cause that is one thing, oils in your hair. She said, do you mind? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm all for it. I need to wash my hair anyway tonight. So yeah, we're just chilling. We've got hungry bellies rumbling belly so we've ordered a load of room service for actually we've got a starter each mains each and tom you ordered two sides with your main and we've got a dessert each so we've got a feast on its way and of course some diet coke and we're just chilling out watching tv barney's down there somewhere ready for mam tour in the morning hey even they said it's gonna get busy as well so i'm thinking maybe get up early breakfast is at eight so we might head to breakfast and then get straight off in the morning. So yeah, just a chilled one and this is just, it's bliss. He's come to say hello. Oh, that was a heavy sigh. You come to say hello. And we've got to take you out for your last toilet break. Here we go. Literally starters, mains and desserts. Oh, we could literally take our starter, go and eat it in bed. Look at this one. He's like, I smell food. You've had your dinner. I 
it will soak in pork, and it will dry out because that's what it's designed to do. Pork pork. That's what I wanted it for. Well, that's it. That's Watching Grand Designs, we gave up on a movie. The Gogglebox sunset as well, so we thought Grand Designs and Gogglebox. It's a beetroot. Yeah. It's all beetroot. Good times. James clearly isn't going to sit back. He's discovering that he can modify the design of the new trait to make sure that James's changes are properly detailed. <laughs> Over the following month, Alan can use the skin. This is a little bit different. Do you remember in Greece? I'm like, the show be fancy to just be fancy. Mm. That's different to what we just had there. So, what you're saying, this is fancy, it's good. but it is fancy. Or it's not too fancy, you mean? Yeah, it's not trained. It's, it's not trying to be something it's not. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Chips for me. Chips not such a weakness of mine. I love a chip. <laughs> Just bought Barney outside for a last minute wee before bed. And it's actually really pretty at night time with the uh, little fountains out the front and the lights under the arches. Just so, such a gorgeous building. I absolutely love it. Oh. So nice. Are you ready for bed? Good morning from Buxton. I feel like we've got our own little private dining area here. So the restaurant itself isn't dog friendly, which we knew, but there is a separate area set up for us for breakfast um, and dinner if you wanted it, but we chose room, room service this night. Um, I feel like I need to catch up because I haven't even spoken to you properly. But last night, okay, so we went to the spa Oh no, I did tell you about having Indian head massage for the first time, yeah, and it was really good. And then we had room service. We're still full. <laughs> and the food was good. And we all know Tom's a foodie. And you were happy, weren't you, with the food? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's cutie. So we're going to have a speedy breakfast this morning. We're not going to order from the menu, I don't think. We're going to have a quick look at the buffet. Oh, you want to order? Oh, right. He wants to do what there is. I just thought you said you were still full from last night. We'll just have a couple of pastries and it'll be fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, they've got pancakes. Mm. <laughs> Why is that like a quote from Derek or something? Some kind of Ricky Gervais. Oh, now. She oh, it's that. It's that scene where the sex worker. Oh yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and he goes. Mm. Oh no, it's interesting. Now you're right. <laughs> anyway. Um, Right, do you want to order quickly then? I'm keen to get going because we right, keep being then. told that it's going to be really busy. Guys, I woke up at like half five and I said, should we go? Because we were both awake, weren't we? Um, I was like, should we go and do a, like a sunrise one and we could always come back for breakfast? But I don't think there was any convincing Tom getting out of bed. Mm -hmm. You said you would have. And you've done it before. Um, but I would like to do that one day, even if we just not stopped over and just drove here for the morning and did like a Peak District walk at sunrise, I think that'd be so pretty. And I did actually end up watching the sunrise from my bed this morning. It was so beautiful. What are you doing then? <laughs> oh, right. I thought you were like dodging at <laughs> the camera. We've gone for a little birch muesli, some eggs royale and some pancakes. And these smell amazing. We've arrived. Walking boots on time. Are literally on. These are. Any recommendations? If you want some, I'll leave these linked below. They are my trusty walking shoes and they are perfect for a walk like today where it's a bit hilly, a bit rocky. Well, I mean, I've never done it before, but Tom's just said as we pulled into the car park, oh, I've been here. I've done a walk here with Barney. I was like, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> um, He's already done this walk. And it's a challenge, he says. Yeah, well, you've been here with um, the boys in the van, I remember you say. Oh. Uh, no wonder you feel like you said you feel like you've been here before. You have. When we were driving through Buxton, he was like, Yeah, I've been here before. Oh, guys, there are some people here with all the gear. Like, Oh, yeah. really I'm there. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> this incline, I'm struggling. Go 
cars there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> it's an incline that does it for me. Right. Come on. I'm a layer down. I've taken my jump off as well. I don't think I'll need it. I might regret that when we get up to the top. But for now, we're doing all right. First hill climbed. stopped it's actually so quiet here we pit stop at windy knoll although it does have a sign saying please do not enter it's this big cave we didn't go down the other one i don't think it was dog friendly blue john tavern blue john blue john tavern cavern you can hear the drops of the water can you hear that and then we heard a couple of bangs where the rocks are falling so we can't go in there. Oh God, I'm so clumsy. Definitely not going in there with how clumsy I am. Just got back home and look. We have to keep Varney away. But look, we have a baby squirrel. Hello. Oh, I don't know. Look at him shaking. Hello. Oh my goodness. You're hungry. I feel like I'm a mess. I feel like it's a mess. We have all this stuff that we need to pop away and sort out. We found a home though for Mr. Squirrel, which just makes me so happy. So hopefully he will thrive and survive. That's the main thing. And be happy. Happy little squirrel. And that Barney doesn't get him. That's the most important thing. Anyway, I need to unpack, sort myself out. I'm gonna get straight into comfy tonight. I think Tom and I both, it's now four o'clock. We are ready to just, after this morning's hike up Mantor, we are ready for, um, excuse me, Mr. <gasps> Mr. Sock Thief. You come back here, mister. My sock. You... <gasps> Barney. <laughs> Why do they love socks so much? <laughs> Don't look at this hair. Oh. Anyway, it's because I washed it yesterday and plaited it, but I haven't had a chance to style it yet, so it's just a bit crazy. Um, That's my sock, please. Thank you. Comfy's on? Yeah, me too, I think. A little shower, fresh PJs. We were gonna cook tonight, but it's ended up getting a bit late, so I think we're gonna cook that tomorrow, aren't we? We're gonna have lasagna and garlic bread. So tonight, it seems as though it's already quarter past four. See, lasagna wouldn't take that long, but the way that you want to do it. Oh no, we're not doing lasagna, oh. we're doing spag bol. Yeah. Tomorrow. If you're not eating it by? Monday. Be half eight before you can eat that. Yeah, it's too late for us. We had dinner at half eight last night, it was just too late. Um, yeah, comfy's on chill. I think we're gonna do a bit of a purge. I oh, know, a bit of a binge of the purge. The builders, you can see them cracking on over there. Well, I don't know if you can actually. They're putting the rubber on the roof. <laughs> He's just parading around with my sock. They're putting the rubber on the roof so it's all watertight and ready for the green roof, which is going to be installed when? Uh, next round. Really? That soon? Yeah. We've got a date booked in? Yeah. So it's going to be fully green? Fully green on that day. When are they rendering then? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So 
So it's actually really close to being done then. Yeah. All right, well, we'll probably have a big progress update for you guys. Just take this. <laughs> um, within my next vlog or two. Very, very exciting. Good morning. It's actually a new day. We are in a city centre this morning. When I say we, me and you guys, <laughs> no one else in the car. It's just us. Um, I've come into city centre to go to um, All Saints. There's a fairly, I don't think it's that new, but I've not been into it yet. The one in Arndale, um, a new All Saints store. And they were celebrating, I think it was 30 years anniversary there was actually an event i couldn't make it to and um they did say well if you wanted to pop down anyway and have a look at the new clothes maybe pick out some bits and i was like yes please amazing so that is what we're here for i've just parked up at the ncp car park in manchester so we're gonna be charged full whack for parking today but that's okay um and i thought i would bring you guys with me now it is absolutely tipping it down that's why i headed into this car park so i thought this one you just go straight into the arndale you're undercover and i probably won't venture anywhere else out, like as in outside of the Arndale today. Our little trip over in the Peak District was now a couple of days ago. So we've been back a couple of days and I can't remember, did I update you guys on the squirrel fiasco? Well, we found someone to look after him, little George, we named him. Um, I spoke to the vets, I managed to find someone that could look after him. Cause the thing is with vets and squirrels, I think if they're injured especially, and I, we don't know if this one was injured or not, but they just put them down and I just say I can't do that either we look after him we put him back or we find someone else we found someone else that can look after him properly so that was really really good a relief because I just call me snow white the amount of if I see an animal that is injured did I tell you about the magpie the baby magpie that was in our garden the fox I just can't leave an animal just can't do it um but anyway, let's head on in. Let's go to the shops and let's see what they've got. There's an alarm going off and I'm hoping it's not like a fire alarm where we all have to leave. <laughs> I see you. How I see you. I'm a pretty successful shopping trip i've got a few bags in the back and i'm gonna go via i've decided i think i'm gonna go via the there's a home bargains on the outskirts of oh in fact whilst i'm here could i go to that oxfam charity shop and see if they've got any more zara home bits i know that i'd make the trip over and they won't have had any donations Do I do that or do I do home bargains, which is what I was thinking. Seeing as though there isn't really a home bargains that local to me um, that's any good. So maybe we'll, oh, which one do we do? 
I pulled up outside come to like a different retail park than what I thought I actually plugged it in thinking I was going to the home bargain so I thought I was going to turns out there's another one that I pulled up outside of and it's also got a Poundland a big Pep and Co a TK Maxx home bargains and a Cancer Research UK which I have been to before so they're not the ones that have had the Zara home stuff in the past but who knows we might get lucky today and I did call up the Oxfam just to see if they've had another big donation and they said no so that to me was a sign not worth going and turns out I've come here where there's loads of bargain shops so we'll have a quick mooch around the shops I don't want to be too long here the day is already getting away with me it's already one o'clock One more pit stop before heading home and I am outside Dan Elm if you can see that and I've seen that they've brought back this year if you remember I mentioned it last year the uh, gifting tree so I'm hoping fingers crossed this Dan Elm has one that I can pick up a couple of labels and we can do a bit of Christmas shopping for people in need. And they were actually just popping loads of new tags out because they said that they just get through them so quickly and they needed to bring even more down but um they had quite a few on still and i managed to pick a few up shall i show you which ones i've got um oops the receipt there how many did i get one two three four five i've got yeah essentially what it is it's called the delivering joy whereby you can go in so it's usually right by the front door with a load of tags with gifts for people which you can go purchase or in like a christmas bag wrap it up and take it back in store by a certain date so these they usually have the date on them i think it ends end of november um early december usually so i decided to i, I tried to get a range so i've got two female oh no i've just realized i've got two female rather than a girl i was gonna get a girl female male and boy oh well i've got two females anyway and a boy and a male and also changing lives are on there as well so this is for like loads of pet things wainwrights harrington's james well beloved kitchen and cat kitchen kitten and cat grain free food um to be given by the 2nd of December so that's just like one example and then I also picked up a male 83 years old who's asked for smellies and gardening bits a boy at seven to eight who's asked for pajamas slippers and socks and a female in fact the two females one's 70 years for essential oils and room fragrance of which I have plenty of stuff like that so I feel like that's going to be a fairly big bag and also this one as well again with like PR bits that I get to, it's a way for me be able to be able to um give back you know I get excess stock which um I'm so grateful for every single year at Christmas brands just fire out loads of PR um beauty bits which obviously I just can't get through and um some like I said are duplicates of things so unopened unused brand new products for shower sets smellies candles bath sets again for a female so we'll easily be able to fill those and um, head to the shops and get some bits for them but then there was like baby's bits young boy teenage boy um teenage girl um young baby girl so yeah plenty to get and reminds me of school days you know we used to do the shoebox gifting does anyone else did that where you would 
wrap a shoebox in wrapping paper and then fill it with loads of bits like toothbrush, toothpaste, colouring pencils, all of that kind of stuff. It's kind of like on those lines. If you want to get involved, you have to be fairly quick. It's not something that runs throughout like December. You have to be ahead of the game. That's where I missed out last year. Um, I told you guys about it, but I was late to the game. I was too late. So um, yeah, I'm glad it's being advertised a bit more widespread on TikTok and things this year because people know about it which is the main thing so there you go if you didn't know about it and you want to get involved done now back home as you can tell it's actually very cold in the house and dark as well and i'm thinking is this a sign of winter incoming or is it just because it's a miserable day i don't know <laughs> kind of loving it um, anyway, I thought I would just get into my comfies. I've just thrown on some leggings and a cardigan for a cozy afternoon and evening. I keep forgetting as well, because it's a couple of days after having been away, I keep forgetting that this video is already probably really long. So apologize, apologize, apologies if it's a bit too long for you guys, this vlog, but I'll try and rapid fire through these bits and why not just go get another coffee? Just pause the video, have a quick toilet break, grab a brew, and let's jump into a little bit of an unboxing. So I'll actually start with the bits that I got from the other day that I said at John Lewis, and it's something that I want to get out tonight, and that is this jigsaw puzzle. So I have got my jigsaw table back there somewhere, I think. Maybe get that out just so that I don't have to have it out all the time, but I don't know, maybe we'll just crack on with it. And just get going um, on the dining table, but it's a thousand piece, so it might take me a while actually. <laughs> we'll see. But it's an autumn equinox jigsaw puzzle, so yeah, I thought we could do that, or well, at least make a start on it this evening. Um, and then, really randomly as well, in John Lewis, they had this pecan pie flavoured popcorn. So I'll grab that for a, a movie night and a popcorn night one night. And then, what else did they have? Oh, they also had these pumpkin glasses. They did do these in Tesco's. They're like the anthropology dupes, but I couldn't find in our Tesco, like they just didn't have it. And then when I saw John Lewis had it for, I think it was only six, yeah, 650. Okay, so John Lewis had all their Christmas stuff out. In fact, getting all of the vlog store footage, I noticed a lot of the time I was filming Christmas things. So I feel like the vlog in store type things is now Christmas on this channel. I'm Again, apologies if it's too early for some of you, but it's just what's in the stores now. Like they seem to really be filtering out all of the autumn stuff already. So um, yeah, I got this bauble for my kind of novelty fun tree. If you missed me announcing on Instagram that I am going with a bit more of a vintage Christmas theme this year, a bit of a retro theme, especially in the kitchen area. Maybe in this room I'll do, because I have two trees. It's so much more fun when you can play around with two trees. This one might be the glam, kind of champagne gold, white, white company style. And then in the other room is more of like the fun, nostalgia Christmas. Not too 90s tat, but an element. I mean, more so of the vintage-y feel. So anyway, I got this for that kind of fun tree that I have. It's a Buckingham Palace. So I have loads of like novelty baubles on that um, tree. And I'm trying to like curate each time I see a bauble that has meaning. So for us, or for me, I've been to Buckingham Palace um, before with my family when I was younger and we got invited there. I don't know if I have ever told you that story, but it was, you know, cause I've had a bit of a military upbringing. Oh, and then also just a little chocolate treat for Halloween for us. Look, they're quite big. These luxury chocolates that they do. Are so good. So anyway, we've got some, what are they? White chocolate ghoulish ghosts. Okay, and then also on that same day, I went to a local shop called Homebird, which they have a few of, but I'm not sure if they're nationwide or if they're just based in around the Northwest, but Homebird Interiors, lovely little shop with loads of different stuff. And I got this pumpkin. I just thought it was so gorgeous and again what i'm doing this year after this autumn's over and i've kind of got rid of all the decorations put them away i'm having a good clear out and curation again of just all of the ones that i absolutely love rather than just loads and loads of pumpkins just individual unique ones like this uh kind of 
material one with the wooden stalk from Walton and Co. This is originally from a twenty nine ninety five, which just for the pantry, just a couple of these kilner jars. I love the dark wood uh, glass lidded for our pantry, so. The different shape and sizes for these I thought would fit quite nicely in our pantry because I like a mismatch of different sizes and shapes. And these were 9.95 and there's no press on that one but I think it was probably about 7.95. Oh, here's the label, 7.95. And then for hosting for autumn, I've got these little mini ceramic pumpkins which you could obviously use as hanging decorations on like branches, stems in a vase or you could have them as little table play settings. You could wrap this around a napkin. Loads of different uses for these. And I just think these, or even just like in a little wooden bowl, um, are lovely. So $2.95 for those. So I actually got a set of four in case we were to ever host. I think, oh, someone's at the door. Hello. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That is again more deliveries that i've been getting for my christmas gift guide videos oh guys honestly this the pile of stuff i already have of things to share with you i'm so excited for my gift guides this year uh, but anyway as i was saying yeah i got four of these because i thought if we're hosting for four people or for six we could just use three and alternate or if we're hosting for up to eight people around this time of the year Think every other one having a little table place setting of this and then mismatched with my other napkin rings that are like just all year round ones so i didn't go overboard and get a full set but i think four we can work with lastly they had these in at these were such a bargain um they're like these stone cots let me just show you they just had them on display like on a shelf just standing by themselves or like on a coffee table book but you could use them in a bathroom for like cotton buds. You could use them in a kitchen. This like as a like a salt cellar or something, or a garlic pot um, on a kitchen shelf. So I'm not sure where I'm going to use this one yet. But six pound ninety five that one was. Okay, now moving on to today's finds. Firstly, of course, a big big thanks to All Saints for having me in store. I did end up spending a bit of my own money as well because. There were just so many things. Now, I have to admit again, a lot of these I'm gonna be saving for gift ideas. They've got so many lovely new kind of accessories and gifting bits that I thought I would save them for my gift guides. But there are a couple of things that I guess I could show you. This little vest top, these are super, super soft and they are lovely. They're just like a simple ribbed, kind of racer style uh, vest. This is like one of the softest basics i've ever owned so in a medium and it's called the rena tank and then i also got another basic for myself which is this long sleeve white top um and it's just very plain and simple the lady um the store manager there that i was chatting to she said she has this one and loves it and yeah so i grabbed it as a good basic to have again really soft this one's called the stevie in optic white again in a medium the only branding on it really is on the back there that just says all saints but otherwise just a plain and simple long uh long sleeve top they have this in a t-shirt version as well i also got a bag now the bag that i was wearing today is my uniqlo crossbody bag which i have to admit guys i have worn so so much and it is such a bargain but it's very much it's very casual i would say so if you don't know which one i'm talking about i will leave it linked below but honestly guys the uniqlo i have to include it as a gift within a gift guide because it is well i don't think i will because i've already mentioned it so many times but it would make a great gift um so affordable so many colors the best thing ever however when i saw this bag that they had again in a few colors in all saints i thought this would make the perfect addition to my handbag collection because it's that but in a i would class as like a smarter version it's in this suede and i went for the khaki color but they had black like a black leather they had um like a more kind of stone color slightly adjustable strap although that's pretty long as it is um on the shortest one 
but yeah just such a lovely bag that's all i can show you for now from all saints i got some chocolates from lent i've been wanting to try the new tiramisu flavor that they do and they had boxes of them in store but i thought i'm gonna go with the pick a mix option and get loads to fill up my chocolate jar which you guys know i like to have in my living room honestly with chocolates in all year round i had some reese's in for this season and they're all gone but um yeah for christmas i thought we can pop some of these festive uh chocolates in so it's like screaming nostalgia christmas in the 90s and noughties these little mini santas and then I also went for, yeah, some of the teddy bears. They also had some of these like mini individually wrapped little lint, just sort of milk chocolate um, kind of squares. So I, well, rectangles. So I got a few of those. I also got a few of these, um, just plain milk chocolate lint. These are like really soft chocolate. But I did also get some Irish cream ones, which fit with the color theme and also the tiramisu. So, should we just try the tiramisu? Oh, I got two of those ones, which sounded nice as well. But for the most part, anyway, they are festive additions to add to my bowl. And I'll probably get them out maybe um, closer to Christmas. Well, closer to November, <laughs> let's just say. Oh yeah, okay, so I feel like coffee chocolate is definitely a love it or hate it. I love, love coffee flavored things. Coffee cake is my favorite. Oh, wow, really good. Quite strong. I'm glad I didn't go for the full box. I'm glad I got a mixture of things, but delicious nonetheless. I also went into Waterstones and had a look at some books. In particular, two books that were right on the entrance that dragged me into the shop and books I've seen online and wanted to get are these two books. So firstly, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, just a nice seasonal read for this time of the year, even the pages are slightly, is that my eyes playing tricks on me? Maybe, <laughs> I was gonna say they're slightly orange. By Laurie Gilmore, it's one of the Sunday Times bestseller and it says it's the season to fall in love. So I'll just quickly read the back. When Jeannie's aunt gifts her the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor, Jeannie jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Logan is a local farmer who avoids Dream Harbor's gossip at all costs, but Jeannie's arrival disrupts Logan's routine and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl, except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her. Will Jeannie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan, or has this city girl find, found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm, or her pumpkin spice lattes? And then a follow-up, but you don't have to read both. Um, it's just another version. The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. All it takes is a little bit of sugar and spice. When a secret message turns up hidden in a book in the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, Hazel can't understand it. As more secret codes appear between the pages, she decides to follow the trail of clues. She just needs someone to help her out. Gorgeous and outgoing fisherman Noah is always up for an adventure, and a scavenger hunt sounds like a lot of fun. Even better that the cute bookseller he's been crushing on for months is the one who wants his help. Hazel didn't go looking for romance, but as the treasure hunt leads her and Noah around Dream Harbor, so same location, but different story, their undeniable chemistry might just be as hot as the fresh out of the oven cinnamon buns that the bookstore sells. So they were actually running a promotion in the little cafe in Waterstones, whereby if you bought this, you got a free cinnamon bun. Um, however, they'd ran out cinnamon buns and she offered to give me a brownie. So I've got a little brownie in there. So I feel like I might give these a kind of like quick read this season. I feel like I might leave any other books that I was currently reading and just have a bit of a, not skim read, but you know some books you can, because they're just so easy, like the one that I'm reading now, the second installment, which I'm slowly getting through <laughs> of the Akatar series, is so good, but it just takes a lot of brain power with knowing who's who and what's what, especially as I'm a slow reader and don't pick it up every day, which I definitely should. Um, I might just pause that and give these a little read, seeing as though it's the season. When I popped into Poundland, I saw that they had the um, these little Halloween candlesticks or candle holders, and they reminded me of, I think they're 
trying to dupe the pottery barn ones because so these are only three pounds so i grabbed those for like halloween time we need to pop out some halloween decorations might be in my next video or two. Oh, tom was after terry's chopped orange the other day and i saw that and then i also saw these again sticking with the whole vintage christmas theme this year poundland sell these vintage uh biscuit tins with different kind of vintage christmas biscuits in they had loads of different designs but i went for these two like santa baking and then with his sack under the christmas tree just cute little mini tins that i thought we could pop out um as we are hosting again this year for christmas okay then home bargains some kitchen foil some toothpicks <laughs> so i've got these in fact i've got a couple of packs of these for halloween for my little Halloween gift bags that I'm gonna do for the neighbor's kids or for whoever knocks on trick or treating. Found the cozy moments from Zaflora, this new scent called Cozy Moments is a comforting blend of burnt orange and winter berries with warming hints of clove on a base of glowing amber and cedar wood. Wow, that is different to any other Zaflora. They must find it hard to think up new scents seeing as though they've got so many, especially like for Christmas and wintry scents, but that is different. I do like that. Very warm and kind of, as it suggests, cozy smelling. Um, is there anything else I can show you? Oh, I got this just randomly. Punch pliers. They were only about three, three or four pounds. And I just thought it'd be really handy for like bags or belts or anything where you need to just punch extra holes in. So yeah. I'll probably keep that in the utility room downstairs. Oh, and then I got some, again, vintage Christmassy themed Christmas cards. And I liked these ones because they had these little tags, these individual tags on the card, but also guys look a little golden. So there's a vintage theme with a golden retriever included. Sold. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the background. Probably not. I did also get a um, set of new golf clubs recently. So popped into Sports Direct, I think it was, and picked a glove up for £5.50. But that is everything I can show you. Just have to wait for all the rest of the bits. Let me know if you want me to update you on how I get on my jigsaw. I'll give it a start tonight. I'll post a little photo on my Instagram and um, yeah, if you want to see it over on there, I'll, you'll be able to see where I get up to with that. Hopefully it's not going to take me forever seems though it's an autumn themed one i want it done in october thank you so much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed coming with us to the peak district if you have it means the world if you thumbs up the video and also let me know in the comments below and also if you haven't already by subscribing because i know half of you guys watching don't actually subscribe to my channel it would mean the world and really really help out with my channel if you can subscribe if you're not already and yeah without further ado i'm going to love you and leave you hope you have the loveliest rest of your day whatever it is that you are doing and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys